Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. I'm Laura. And I'm Ryan. And we are here today with... More Advent calendar <laughs> opening. Sorry, lost my train of thought. What day, how many days is this? This the fourth? is fourth, four of four. six. It's gonna be a six part series. <laughs> We're halfway through. This is number four, video number four of the Advent openings and it'll be days 13 to 16. Yes, thank you. We rehearsed that before sitting down here and then it all just slipped out of my brain. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to show you, we have our cork boards here. Um, so I will show you Pinderella. So this is what we've received so far. I guess we didn't talk about, we only talked about Magic Lunch Baby, but we do have a second advent calendar. It's from a seller on Facebook named Pinderella. So these are all just um, mystery bags, booster packs, and authentic hidden Mickeys. So, so far. So far, I'm pretty like yeah, pretty good impressed. Haul and beefing up those traders. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the Magic Launch Bay board, and you'll see it is quite impressive. Yes, twelve very awesome pins on there already. Hopefully, that's showing up okay. If not, we know Laura will have pictures on her Instagram, Disney Pin Love. How am I doing? Very good. All right, we're getting better at this. All right, so what should we do? Who should go first? What should we do first? I feel like you're asking me, but you already know what you <laughs> no, want to do. No, <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? Get I will it. open a Pinderella one okay. for you. Let's get it started. Okay. This is exciting. <laughs> Hopefully it is not unlucky okay. number 13 for us, but this is okay. technically the 13th Pinderella one. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. I'll get ready for the 14th one. Okay, Let's see. I like so I got this one out. I, I didn't. Oh, it's one of those ones in the heart. Can you tell? Yeah, <laughs> it is quite obviously guys, a heart from the back. You guys would know what I'm talking about. There's a whole mystery bag. They're in the heart. They're Neither of us have seen it. Let's take a look. We have, you guys are seeing it first. We have Mickey Minnie of this one. So. Oh. Oh, is it the couple? Yeah, from... It could be the wrong series, but that's Queen of Hearts. I don't know what that guy's name is. Again, if you watched our last video, we're not so good we're, on We're still getting there. Disney knowledge, but... It's a nice pin, though. It's a nice pin. It'll make a nice trader for somebody who collects Alice in Wonderland. Not bad. There you go. I will not keep that one, though. Okay. Tell so, us how you really feel. I will. All right. So, it's one of those circle pins, again. So, this is another Pinderella one, too, yes. if we didn't already say... So this is going to be from a mystery bag. I'm sure of it. It's going to be one of the couples, like, um, there's like a, or BFF, there's like Winnie the Pooh and Piglet that are super cute. I don't know what else there is. So let's see. Oh, goodness gracious. Not so cute. It's not. So there's circular villains pins then, because that's what happened in our last video. I thought it was going to be one of those cutesy ones, and then I was like, Madame Mim, whoever she is. And this right. guy, do you know who this is? I don't. Hades. Oh. I don't know. Frightening. Oh, Hercules? That makes oh sense. my, I should know. I do not like that, but I know some people who will like that that collect Hades. I just, I don't know. Why would you, like, I mean, that's why pins are so cool because, like, there's so many Something different types. For everybody. But, like, I would never collect villains of <laughs> any type, really. Actually, the only villain I was, would collect is Ursula because she's kind of funny and she's, like, so big and voluptuous, anyways. Well, they're. <laughs> There you go. On to the next one. Let's do, do you want to do Magic Launch Bay each? Um, yeah, let's do it. I'll, I'll start us off with number 13 from Magic Launch Bay. Yes. Notice the uh, the nice gingerbread man sticker on this one. So that's sort of, it seems. Uh, maybe it means it'll be special, maybe not. It is on a Magic Launch Bay backer, I can tell that much. Okay. So I'll show you the backer oh, first, which means uh, oh, we get the funny. reveal. <laughs> it's a hidden Mickey. We'll show you what it is. Okay, let's check where it's from too. I'm curious. <laughs> so you see the hidden Mickey, Mickey. It's like, hmm, question. <laughs> Is it Hong Kong or Hong Kong Disneyland? Okay. And yeah, it is a uh, hidden Mickey. I, I want to say that says either six or eight of twelve. Is it like brand new? Like it looks like it's like a like brand new. Can you see the date or no? No. You want me to look? Let me see. I don't know that there is a date. It is. It's in there. It's twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. It's always in the middle of a circle. Okay. That's um. I don't know. Like I. 
I don't think I'd want to keep this yeah, in my collection I mean, unless like you really loved it, but we're traditionalists. We do love all things Mickey Minnie, mm -hmm. but yeah, you know, it's it's not maybe wouldn't be standout or one of the no. top ten or top twenty or top how many Mickey pins do you think you have? We'll find out soon. I'm working on a little project. On an Excel spreadsheet. Whoa. It's going to be very telling about how much money we've sunk into this hobby. I'm going to teach Laura it. how to do pivot tables and V-lookups. Okay, so I already kind of peeked in the bag. I think this is a Disneyland Paris pin. Oh, I don't want to read it. Last time I read it and it gave it away. I was thinking that could be our, our question. Tell us in the comments below about your favorite Microsoft Excel function. Just kidding. Yeah. Just kidding. Don't comment on that. Okay, back to the fun back stuff. Back to the fun We've stuff. Number... Let's see. I'm going to show you guys. I'll take it out of the plastic in a second. It, it, I think it's a Disneyland Paris pin. $15.99 for the pounds is the cost. TDS O and Pounds are euros. Oh. Oh, speaking of villains. Spooky. Is he? A, I don't know if he is considered a villain, Jack Skeleton. I'm not sure. I don't. Jack Skellington? Right. I, I don't. I don't know. Comment down below <laughs> if you. I, I think you gotta take oh. the backer off first. <laughs> oh Just trying to pull it out of the bag. <laughs> that's the backers through the bag. I'm like, why don't I just rip it anyway? It's like 10 minutes later, this girl's still trying the same thing. <laughs> I get this pin out. Okay, I hope it doesn't fall off the card. And now it's just ripping. Okay, that's what I want to do because I hate plastic. All right. So let's. Thing. Well, we'll keep it on. So it's a dangle pin. It says Disney oh, yeah. Paris. That's like. That's a really nice thing. It is for really somebody, nice thing. And it's LE 600. I love the. So, even the brickwork like, is really cool on there. I don't want that in my collection because, again, like, it's kind of villainy. Like, I don't collect Nightmare Before Christmas. I know lots of people that do. And I think that's a really cool pin for somebody that does collect it. So, I'm impressed again. So, if that's one that you're interested in. Because I'm sure we can trade. Something can be worked out. So mm -hmm. I'm going to okay. get getting right into yeah. it with another Pinderella pin here. We'll see what I'm we've got. Time. I've got it falling out the right way. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't even know which way is it. Well, I guess I do Wait. know which way is up. Yeah, I know you do, but I have no idea. It feels, <laughs> you know, could there be antlers? Could there be a mermaid tail? I just can't tell from the back. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Again, we're on a roll with like villains here. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Was um, that no, scar no, and? Boss, or, yeah, scar. I guess. Oh. oh whoa. <laughs> you got you got into that me the scar. last time I had a lion pin <laughs> hiccup. Yes, that scar and the hyenas. <laughs> yeah. So another villain pin. So that I definitely I won't keep that in my collection, but that's a great trader, and um, that's a pretty nice pin. Like. It's really nice. Yeah. I mean, every pin is nice. I like it. So, this is a cute and tiny little, oh, I know, our, it's signed. Our last Pinderella one of this video, mm -hmm. so this is number 16. So, it has a little signature. I think it's going to be one of those Kingdom of Cute ones. Okay. But that's for a mystery box, and I didn't think we were getting that. So, let's see. I will show you guys first. It's a little tiny circle pin. Let's see. Oh my god, I suck at guessing. <laughs> We're not doing that's... well, are we? Okay, so that's... No, that's not that guy. That's Alice in Wonderland. That's all I know. And so that's from... It's signed by the guy. I can't think of what his name is, but I know it starts with J, like Namara, Namora or something. Anyways, he's really good. He makes all those really cute, like... We've saved so many on Instagram because we love it. You would know. Anyways, <laughs> that's cute. Not for my collection, but very cute. Well, there we go. So, I'm going to get into it with number 15 here, Magic Launch Bay. Let me feel yours. Is yours bigger? Oh, maybe. Okay. So, we 15 and see. 16. Let's see. I'm excited because well, this has been pretty I've got cool. Another Magic Launch Bay backer. I feel like you've been opening all the ones that don't have yeah. the Magic Before Launch Bay. Before you show them, I don't think I mentioned it at the start of this video. Um, if you've watched our past ones, you already know, but this Magic Launch Bay was about 240 US. So by the time it converted to Canadian, it's about $13 per pin. So pretty good for something like the Nightmare Before Christmas one, that's LE 600. And we're guaranteed to get five LE pins. So, so far, I think, so far we have three. So we could get two more. And also for Magic Launch Bay, you're able to like eliminate one character or like 
theme or something. So a lot of people eliminate Duffy and Friends, um, but I just chose to eliminate Marvel because that's my least favorite. Um, yeah. So yeah, and then the Pinderella yeah. one was about um, $55 US. So by the time there was like the conversion and then shipping, it's about $4 per pin, which is pretty good yeah, to build up some traders. Like, about that. Yeah. Well, right. what we have here is from Hong Kong Disneyland. It's 2019. Oh, it's one of those eggs. Four of 15. I snuck a peek, to be honest. Is it one I, of the eggs? I can't place it. No. It's not like it, it's, one, okay. it's not one of the eggs. I, I just, I have no idea, to be completely honest. Okay. Really? You don't? Okay, I'm, I'm I know like who, Well, okay, so I don't know who his name is. But it's from Peter Pan. Yeah, sorry. I know Heidi over at. It's always sunny. Really likes this character. I don't know, like, what's his name's Kevin? That's so wrong. <laughs> it's not Kevin. I don't know. Michael. It's Michael. I think it's Michael. Comment down below <laughs> if I'm right. If I'm wrong, don't be mean. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna learn. That's our promise. And, and Heidi, if you want to get at us for a trade, <laughs> I my guess is this. okay. Yeah, that's how I knew. Okay. That's really cool. It has like um like um like a shiny like. Sparkly yeah. in the back. I don't yeah, know if the camera, nice background. If the camera shows that or not. So anyways, that I won't keep that one, but it's it's a nice pin. Yeah. For sure. Alright. On to last, the last one in the video. For, for this Number video. 16. I'll be so sad when this is over. Like, can we have like a magic month the <laughs> advent calendar like all year? I'm sure something could be arranged. <laughs> I'm sure so they'd be happy funny. to make that possible for you. Okay, so this is on a magic launch bay backer card. Um, I'm going to pop it off and see. And so, ooh, okay. So it has a hint on the back here. So it's from 2016 or 18. Mm. Again, you can never tell. And it's from Hong Kong Disneyland. And it does say, it has that little thing that says, based on the Winnie the Pooh works by A.A. A. Milne. Oh. So I'm going to look at it. You think first. it's going to be a Toy Story <gasps> pen? Or? No, it's cute. That is oh really gosh. cute. I didn't, okay, so I've seen that series before. I think they maybe come out of like a mystery box, the popcorn ones. So that's Winnie the Pooh, and he is on a beautiful purple sparkly background with like popcorn flying around. Popcorn and honey. And honey. That's an interesting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, popcorn and honey. Really good. I like caramel corn, so it'd be similar. So that's super cute. I will probably be keeping that in my collection because I do have a Winnie the Pooh collection. Very so, nice. That's a good way to good. end off today, I think. One out of four for my collection. There Not you bad. go. I mean, they're all going to be great traders when we get to that point. So, um, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what your favorite item was. Um, or favorite Excel function. Yeah. I'd love to know. super boring. Um, and yeah, we'll be back again. Um, I guess we have two more after this video. We'll have two more Advent Calendar unboxings coming at you. And our last one will come out on Christmas Day. So hopefully we'll go out with a bang and we'll get like really good ones. Anyways, thank you for watching. It's been fun. <laughs> Bye.